I've always been fascinated with tiny houses long before they were in vogue. I was just talking to a good friend of mine about my dream of building a tiny house and he said, let's do it. It feels great, it really does. I'm so excited. I mean, there were times that I, I felt like it was not gonna get done. <laughs> but we had all sorts of people show up that just wanted to come help. We had a celebration last week and people came out who really helped on it. And it was just a nice sort of ending point. I'm excited to be at a point where we can just come out and enjoy. It's been good. There are very few projects that you do that come out the way you envision them. It's got a very typical tiny house layout. So that's 240 square feet on the main floor, about 100 feet in loft space, and then probably an additional 100 feet on our uh, porch. We have bought our main structural materials. Those have been new, but most of what I have is reused or recycled. People have donated stoves and doors, and I got windows at Habitat Restore. The wood that we used to enclose my bathroom was actually wood from my great-great-grandfather's house, and so there's family heritage in it that I love. Our knobs and pulls, a lot of that are things my mom has had through the years. I love the idea of not just using reclaimed or recycled things, but that it, it has meaning. To me, it has a real sense of place that if I had hired somebody to come in and build me a full-size cabinet, it just wouldn't have. It was just meaningful, it was great. I spent time with people I love and we just made good memories. But the final product has been everything I imagined it would be. Maybe even a little better. <laughs> <laughs>